Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Lucy and I are out on the trail today and it is time for another This Week in Fishing Hot Bite Report. Um, Lake Orville King Salmon Fishing is very, very good. Um, anglers are scoring anywhere from three to five fish per rod and uh, those fish are ranging all the way up to three pounds. Your average fish is about two pounds, one and a half pounds. Um, it's just a very exciting bite for anglers here in the Sacramento region. Um, the, the best bait over there is the Brad's Mini Cut Plug and also the Brad's Kokanee Cut Plug. And uh, you want to open up that cavity, put some either some, some granulated tuna in there or better yet, some granulated tuna mixed with Procure Bloody Tuna. Just get that scent out in the water. And those are working very well in the chrome colors, the pink colors. Dial in your speed, get the roll you want, and it's very effective. Uh, Rob Reimers of Rustic Rob's Guide Service, he's nailing limits on those plugs every time he visits the lake. Um, you know, your traditional hoochies, they're working, rigged baits working, plug cut anchovies are working. Um, you want to team that stuff with Dodgers, six inch Dodgers, four inch Dodgers, the Dodger of your choice. I would go with a six inch sling blade, but that's just me. Guys are running your traditional four inch herring Dodgers and doing very well too. Um, I've seen some pictures of Kings coming on micro hoochies teamed with max lure smile blades in pink and orange colors so bottom line is the oroville kings are pretty forgiving they're striking a, a wide array of baits um, the fish are scattered from 25 to 60 feet deep they're dropping a little bit deeper you know as time goes on and the water temperature comes up but uh, if you've been uh, been wanting to get in on a landlocked king salmon bite, that is hands down the best landlocked king bite in the state. Um, there's landlocked kings available at Elmanor. They're much bigger fish, but there's not nearly as many of them. Um, there's also some big ones available at Folsom, but again, not in the numbers you're seeing at Oroville. No way you're going to go out to Folsom and get a limit of king salmon. And that's kind of the norm for the good anglers that are fishing Oroville. Get out there early. King salmon bites are usually better early in the morning, but uh, you can catch them all day. Um, if I were going, number one bait, Brad's mini cut plug. Number two bait, rigged anchovy tails. Number three bait, an anchovy strip trolled behind a six inch sling blade, but that's just me. As I said, hoochies, spinners, all that stuff's working. Main thing is to get over to Oroville and get after those salmon because it's very, very good. We'll be back here shortly with another hot bite report. This is Kel Kellogg signing off.